Lord, you are good all the time You always seem to blow my mind Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel with Laughter Kinda and I'm all about that Jesus kind of love If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome and if you're already subscribed to my channel welcome back so today i'm just gonna give a very short word of encouragement this one is really short and that is pray every day pray every single day um if you are watching this and you're zambian i'm sure you would um agree with me that it's been a very tough season for us uh, we've been going through the third wave of COVID-19. Other countries may have already experienced the third wave, but COVID-19 has affected each and every one of us in this world. It's something that we all haven't been exempted from. I mean, maybe only specific people are going through it. No, all of us have been affected by it and in a way that it's impacted us negatively and in a very bad and just, just a hurtful way. So many lives have been lost our loved ones have gone you know um the whole restrictions businesses have gone down and not forgetting the mental torture that covid 19 has brought the eternity of life where you know you cannot be so sure it could be you the following it could be you the next day so what happens when we're in this moment where things are just literally tough and very uncertain we can always trust in god and pray every day the Bible says that do not worry about anything, but pray about everything. And then after you pray about everything, that's when, you know, the Bible goes down to actually talk about how, I'm going to pin the scripture, it comes from uh, Philippians chapter 4 verse 7, but we're going to start from 5 years. So after you pray and not worry about anything, but pray about everything, and then through prayer and supplication, so supplication is thanksgiving, you make your request known to God. When you make the, your request known to God, what request, what do you have in your heart that you would want God to do for you? What have you been just crying out for that you just want a breakthrough? It could be healing, it could be a breakthrough over maybe someone that's going through, you know, a challenge. It could be your personal life, it could be your family, it could be your friend, it could be your business, it could be a career, promotion, maybe financial. So whatever requests, whatever things that you have in you that you want God to do for you, you need to alter those requests. You need to surrender those requests by talking to God through prayer. So once you make your request known to God, that's when he will give you the peace. The Bible goes on and say, Then the peace that surpasses all understanding shall guard your hearts and mind in Christ Jesus. So it is after you make those requests known to God that he gives you this peace that surpasses all understanding. That even if you might not see it, you know that he's working. And eventually you're going to see it come to pass. So what happens between that moment where you make that request and then until the breakthrough happens, there's always a process. Sometimes it just doesn't come just like that. There's just gonna be a process, the in between the request and the answered prayer. So what do you do in between? That's where now the peace that surpasses all understanding guards your heart. COVID-19 might not have fully ended, but what happens in between as we wait for a breakthrough for this COVID-19 to go away? What happens in the middle of that? We make our request known to God and the peace that surpasses our understanding. We go through this endurance, we go through these trials, we go through these tribulations, but God will give us this peace and this just this confidence because they say in the Bible it says that um, those that wait upon the Lord, they shall be strong and they shall renew their strength. So God will renew your strength as you are waiting for your answered prayer, as you are waiting for that breakthrough, as you are waiting for your job. There's a way in which you're going to respond. So yeah, like even as you are waiting, just wait upon the Lord. Wait upon the Lord and He's going to give you so much strength and confidence until you see your breakthrough, until you see your prayer answered and you will testify to the glory of God. So the in-betweens, what do you do in the in-betweens? What do you do as you are waiting? Pray every day. Pray every day. That's what is going to get you through it. Um, the Bible says in Matthew 2, 6 verse 33 that seek you first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. So as you are waiting, pray every day. Even if the answered prayer happens, continue to pray. That's what's going to get us through life. That's what's going to get us through these challenging moments. That's what's going to give us hope even in the moments where life is just yeah. dark. I hope that you have been blessed. And remember, 
pray every day pray every day you will get you through without prayer we cannot go about this life this life is very difficult you know we've reached a point in life where then it was difficult but this is like time 10 times 10 you know more difficult it's so uncertain you just never know when your time is coming don't know when your neighbor's time is coming so let's just continue to pray every day commit your family commit your friends commit your loved ones commit your husband your your best friend your mother your father your sister your brother everyone your cousins your relatives all those and trust in the lord with all your heart lean not in your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your paths right amen so thank you for watching hope you have been blessed and yeah bye bye